People sometimes show photos like this one and say that it shows molten metal. And they claim this is because of the color that you see. Here we see something that's orange and yellow. And they say that the color here indicates this is molten. Is this actually true though? I decided to do some experiments to find out. So you've probably seen a chart like this before. It's showing the uh, what, what color iron or steel should look like uh, if it is a certain temperature. Temperature in degrees C. You see when it's getting red hot, it's about 500 plus degrees C. Uh, orange hot is like around 950 here. And white hot is 1300 degrees C and it, it melts around uh, 15 something. Uh, so these would be uh, very, very hot here. Yellow or white is, is quite hot. Now, I noticed earlier that when I was uh, looking at this through the, my, my phone camera, it looked different to what I was actually seeing. So what I've got is my temperature probe here, uh, which is, uh, I'm gonna heat with a torch and I've got it plugged in so I can see how hot it is. And I've got another camera over here which is going to record what that actually looks like. Now I've set the exposure down two stops uh, there and that will hopefully give a better representation of what it lo looks like. Uh, I'm going to point to this chart as to where I think the uh, temperature of this is visually. So let's give that a go. All right, we can see everything there. I'm just gonna use this torch here. It gets, it's quite hot enough. And let's see what happens. All right, now it's, uh, temperature's going up, 600 degrees C, and it's already kind of orange, I'd put it around maybe here. Uh, still kind of orange, bright orange maybe, maybe around here. You can see like the temperature is like 800 and something here, which will be down here. What I'm seeing is a brighter orange uh, if I take this off, mm, it kind of goes to that pretty much straight away. Let's see if I can get it to be a bit, a bit brighter. All right, that's uh, around about here still. Maybe here, like a little bit brighter. All right, that isn't going to get much hotter than that. So I'm going to try using a more powerful torch. Thank you, little torch. Here we got the uh, Map Pro torch. Let's uh, turn on. I'm going to spare you the uh, very loud audio there. You couldn't really hear me talking. Uh, but what I was saying here was basically that, uh, that what I'm pointing to, 1100 degrees, matched the thermometer. And as you can see, it also matches the uh, close up video. It didn't get white hot, and it took a while before it really got bright yellow. It seemed to lag a little bit behind being more kind of very bright orange, bright yellow than uh, than getting towards you know any kind of white hotness. And it didn't look like it was melting at all. It didn't look like a blob. You can kind of see it looks a bit like a blob in uh, in the video of the iPhone video, but uh, it looked very clear as you can see in the close up. Orange, mm, still orange, red, very quickly down, red. So what can we learn from this? Firstly, that the color you see by eye is a pretty good indication of temperature. Although in this light, you can't really see the duller reds, but it works very well for the orange to white hot range. Secondly, any video or photo of a small glowing object greatly exaggerates the brightness above red hot and so it makes it look a lot hotter than it really is. We can see these most clearly at the end here. While the torch is still on the probe, my eye correctly identifies the temperature as in the upper part of 1100 degrees C, and the close-up underexposed video also matches this well. However, the phone camera shows it as white hot. A second later, I remove the torch. From the iPhone perspective, it looks like it's a molten blob of white hot steel, but to my eye and the close-up camera, we can see it's just yellow hot, not close to molten at all. As it cools down, we can see it matches well by eye and by close-up. As it drops below a thousand degrees, it's now orange hot, but my phone still thinks it's white hot on the end. Only when it drops below 900 degrees does the phone color start to match what I see. 
So the lesson here is color temperature in photos and videos is greatly affected by the overall lighting and exposure. And small orange hot objects at 950 degrees C can look like they're white hot at over 1300 degrees C, or even that they melted when they didn't even come close.